Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. This video is a continuation of the previous video where we talked about prime numbers and how to make this application our boss wants. And this video is going to focus on how to algorithm uh, blah, algorithmically check to see if a number is prime. So let's just go through a simple example of seven. So any number divided by itself will give us one. And any number divided by one will give us the original number. That's normal, but it's the other numbers between one and seven that we can use, or between one and n, or whatever number we're working with, that we can use to check if a number's prime. So if we take seven divided by six, seven divided by five, and all the way down to seven divided by two, there's something in here that tells us whether or not a number is prime. And so you understand what a prime number is, it's only divisible to give a whole number with these two situations up here. All the other numbers are going to give us a remainder when we're doing integer division. So for example, if we had two people and we had seven slices of pizza, handing out these pieces of pizza, we would end up with one left over. And we can't, we can't cut the pizza in half. I would throw the integrity of the slice of pizza into question, we can't do that, okay? So that's not gonna work. Same thing, now we're splitting with three people, we're still gonna have a remainder. All of these are going to give us a remainder. That means seven is prime, because only these ones do we get no remainder. If you have seven slices of pizza, seven people, boom, everyone gets one slice of pizza. You got one person, that lucky person gets seven slices. So basically, we can use the modulus operator. So instead of using the division here, the modulus operator is the uh, percent sign. That's going to give us a remainder. And if it is zero, that means the division uh, ended up with no remainder. In all of these situations, all of these scenarios, the, re the remainder will not be zero. So we can basically do a test from, from the number down to one, not including those numbers because we don't need those. We just need the numbers in between. If the remainder for any of those is zero, then the number is not prime. So for example, six, which is not prime, remainder with two is zero because you could, you could divide six by two to get three, no remainder. So how's that gonna look in code? Well, we start with the Boolean variable that we use as what I like to call a flag, basically a way to indicate whether something is, is prime, and we just assume it's prime until, until it's not prime, until we prove otherwise. And uh, I like to call it a flag just because it's like an indicator. You can call it whatever you want. <laughs> so we'll say bool is prime. And we'll set that to true. Then we have, you know, a variable int i. Uh, we can just put, let's just put that in the for loop. Int i equals two. We're starting at two because uh, we don't have to worry about one or the number itself. So we just start at two because we're just getting those middle numbers. Um, and then we're going up until i, as, as long as i is less than the, uh, the number we're asking for. We'll just call it input. You could call it n, whatever you want to call it. And um, each time we're going to increment i. So here's how we basically test all of the numbers between one and that number. And then we just do an if statement. So if input remainder or a modulus with i, is uh, zero, if that's the case, well then we know it's, it's not a prime number because we had successful division with no remainder. So then we would say is prime is now false. Now, since we have this variable is prime, we could do a, an if statement down here after the, uh, the for, and we could say if is prime, then we can do something with it. So we could output it, or we could uh, increase the number of prime numbers that we're counting, whatever you wanna do with it. 
This video is just focusing on how to tell if a number is prime. Now there is one optimization that I know of. I'm honestly not gonna worry about it, um, but if you were actually going to do this in production with large numbers, you would want to do it. There is a way to tell if a number is prime without going through all of the numbers in between where you only have to go up so high and at that point um, it just works. I think it's like the square root of the number. Um, it's something I learned in discrete math, but I suck at math and I don't really, uh, I don't really remember honestly, but it's out there. So if you guys really want to make this program for legit or for like some kind of job interview, that is my challenge to you to figure that out so you don't have to check as many numbers. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. This is my second time we're doing this video and uh, I actually remembered to press record on my audio this time. So I'm happy. <laughs>